Being a yearbook sponsor is pretty demanding. I produced a high school yearbook for 10 years and you can't do it that long without picking up at least a few tricks. I'd like to go through a few things you should know if you're taking over a yearbook. Also, I'll cover some of the things you will need to know if you're taking the Texas Technology Applications Test, dealing with desktop publishing. The first thing you need to find is a yearbook printing company that prints your book at, first, a reasonable price, does a good job of printing, and is quick to let you know of any problems. There are a number of good yearbook companies. During the 10 years that I did yearbook, we used Walsworth, Taylor, and Johnston's. Taylor's and Johnston's did a great job with our yearbooks. Herb Jones also has an excellent reputation. And if you're a yearbook advisor with a lot of experience and doesn't need yearbook technical support, there's always Friesen's, which offers very good rates. The arrangement and appearance of printed text on a page of yearbook is called typography. And there should be three functions. One is readability. Design style is very important. It's can sometimes look very bad when you mix different fonts on the same page or from page to page in a book. Then it has to set the mood of your publication. Typefaces are divided into different classifications. Your most common are serif, they're letters with little feet, and there's sans serif, and they're letters without feet. Generally, serif fonts are used in the body of a yearbook, and sans serif is usually used for headlines. Photography is an important part of any yearbook. You have your posed photos, and you have your candidates. And when you're taking your candidates, you need to think of the rule of thirds which mainly involves taking the main thing of interest in your photo off into one of the corners. Colors is one area where people can make a lot of mistakes. RGB colors are generally computer type uh, monitor colors, but they're not really used for printing. Your printing colors are CMYK. When I first became involved in a yearbook, uh, a yearbook came to my attention. The school colors were blue and white, but the school sent off the yearbook cover to the printer in RGB, and the yearbook came back with, instead of a blue color, a purple color. So that's why you have to convert your RGB photos to CMYK before you send them off to a yearbook company. Probably the most important thing to know about desktop publishing or yearbook production is to have patience. Patience with students and also with the product. A lot of times what doesn't, there are things that don't work the first time, but you just do it over until you get it right.